Hi everybody, it is Julie. Welcome to April's reading vlog. Let's jump right into it. This is gonna be the Julie's face that you see at the end of April's reading vlog and that's because today is April 30th. Because apparently when I went to California, I deleted a whole bunch of stuff thinking, hey, let's make room for footage that I take in California. And a part of that was my beginning of the month reading vlog that I had not uploaded yet prior to leaving because I'm the worst booktuber ever. Um, this is officially the worst reading vlog that I've ever had for any month ever. I had hoped to do different reading vlogs throughout the month, like one for Fantasyathon, one for the end of the month. I do have Fantasyathon vlogs up, so if you want to know how I feel about my books that I read at the beginning of the month, definitely go check out my Fantasyathon vlogs. I will link them in a card because that goes over all of my thoughts for the books that I read during Fantasyathon. And I did read six different things. I read Queen of Air and Darkness, which I gave four stars to and enjoyed. I had thoughts on that that I discussed. The uh, Monster of Ellendhaven, Steel Prince graphic novel. I read, I'm looking at my spreadsheet. Middle Game by Shauna McGuire. I read Opal by Jennifer L. Armentrout. I read The Devouring Grey, which was an audiobook. I go into the rest of the month. The rest of the month was pretty much things that I've already talked about. It was stuff for the owls that I've discussed in other vlogs, I think. I think I've already discussed those. If I missed anything, I will type my thoughts for the books <laughs> that I missed, maybe, um, in the description down below. And I just uh, sincerely apologize. This was a hot mess of a vlog. Usually I love vlogging as I go along for all the books as I finish them. And apparently this month um, something fell to shit and that didn't happen. We're gonna just make the most of it. Thanks. I appreciate you. Also, stay tuned on my Instagram stories because I will be puppy sitting this weekend and I'm pretty stoked about it. And you'll be able to see like puppy footage. I will be bringing my camera because I will have to do some filming over there. I'm uh, rambling. So that is it for right now. And back to previously recorded but not very much footage for April's vlog. I am back with a little bit of a reading update for my vlog for my April wrap up. And somewhere in the vlogging of California, my little like handheld thing that I screw onto the bottom of my camera to like stabilize it, it got lost. So I apologize. I ordered another one on Amazon. It should be here soon. But today is the 26th and I finished a couple things so I wanted to update you. I finished The Last Unicorn by Peter S. Beagle for my Owls readathon which I am still doing. And I finished it, I gave it two stars. Um, I didn't love it as much as the movie. Maybe it's not right to compare it to the movie, but it was not for me. So sadly, not my favorite. It didn't have like a ton of the characters and the storyline that I thought I was gonna get. And what I did get, I didn't really enjoy. So some nice writing, but just not my thing. Then I read Check Please. This was, uh, by the way, 10 years or older. So this was my um, magical history of magic. And then this is my Muggle Studies, which is a contemporary book. This is the cutest graphic novel. I think I gave it four stars. Really, really cute. I can't wait to continue with this. When does the next one come out? I need it in my life right now. Also, I ordered Heartstopper like months ago and I still haven't gotten it, which is bullshit. I've got to look into that. Uh, then I finished In Other Lands by Sarah Reese Brennan. I gave this one four stars as well because it's like almost 500 pages. It's too long for what it is, but what it is, it's really, really good. So I do feel like the length was not necessary. I also just don't really get down with like an entire story's worth of miscommunication in terms of a relationship. It doesn't sit well with me, but oh my gosh, this is so tongue-in-cheek and satirical and amazing and hilarious. It talks a lot about gender roles. A lot of the gender roles in this are swapped. The conversations are hilarious. Like, it's so good. I'm so glad I read this. I ended up getting through it in audiobook because reading it physically wasn't working for me, but the audiobook was really, really great. I didn't read this or, like, it was all tabbed up for the um, buddy read because... Kathy from Kathy Tryhard was doing a buddy read of this for her birthday. I didn't read it then because I'm a horrible person and I just didn't get to it. I was also traveling, but I really enjoyed it. I'm glad that I still picked it up. I'm glad that I went for 
the audiobook because it was phenomenal. Then down here, can you see it? Can you see it? Finale is right here. Um, I finished Finale on my Nook. I got the ebook of that while I was in California. I got approved. No, I got approved before I went to California. And then I got approved for the physical arc while I was in California, got home, and I got the physical arc when I was like 75% of the way through the arc already. So I ended up just reading it on my Nook because it was more convenient. But I'm really glad that I have the physical arc. I do have the physical arc of Legendary and somebody is sending me the physical arc of Carval. So I have all three finished and all three arcs. And I'm I'm kind of stoked about that because it, it is a series that I enjoy. And I don't really keep a lot of my arcs. I tend to pass them on to other people. But um, I really did. I really did want those. So I'm excited about that. And it was a really good book. I have to do a full review. I just finished it today. But I think I'm going with four stars. It wasn't a five star finish for me. But I really enjoyed it. It was really good. None of the stories for me have been five star stories. They were three, four and four. But they just keep getting better. And I really, I really do enjoy them. So sad to see that one go. But I did think that the finale was well done. I do have the Alcrate box of that coming, which I'm pretty excited about. So that is cool. I am in the middle of an audiobook because I started another one right away after I finished In Other Lands. I started Everneath by Brody Ashton. I have this whole trilogy and I need to decide whether or not I want to continue reading it or like keep it on my shelves. Because like they're not huge, but I own all three. So they're definitely taking up room. This is like a Persephone retelling and I am about 82 pages into the audiobook right now. 85 pages into the audiobook right now. And that's just with a little bit of a listen. I think this is only like a nine hour audiobook and I'm listening at 2.5 speed and it's legitimately manageable at 2.5. So I'll probably run through this pretty quickly. I think the rest of the series is on Overdrive, not Overdrive, on Hoopla. And, um, I might just power through that. But I also downloaded the audiobook for Origin, which is the fourth of the, right? Is it Origin? Is Origin the, yeah. Origin, which is the last of the Lux series that's not from the male POV, I think. So I have this as well. I'll listen to that at some point. Will I get done the two of these before the end of the month? Probably not, but that's okay. But I read a ton of arcs this month so far, so I am excited about that because that was my goal, right? Was to read through what arcs I could. So I'm really excited that I did that. So far the reading has gone well and technically at this point I have finished my owls because I had to finish my uh, History of Magic, my Muggle Studies, and I did both of that with Check Please and The Last Unicorn and then I switched out the third one. Continuing with the series was one of the challenges for one of the classes, I forget which one, and that was Finale. So Finale counted. So Finale, check please, and The Last Unicorn count it for my Owls Readathon to become a writer, which I have now officially done, which is awesome. So I've definitely succeeded at my Owls. I succeeded more than I thought I would at my uh, fantasy a -thon. I think I finished six things, which was not bad at all. And I'm in the middle of one book. I think I'm going to pick up Kingsbane physically, continue listening to the audiobook of Everneath, and then see where I go from there. But like I said, today's the 26th. I don't know how much more I'm going to get done before the end of the month, but we're going to wait and see. And uh, that's been my update for right now. I can't wait to have that little stabilizer stick because this is bullshit. That's it, and I'll touch base with you later. Bye, guys. Hi friends, it is Julie with the last of my April reading vlog. Today is the last day of April and I am here to let you know that I did finish another book. I finished the audiobook of Everneath by Brody Ashton, which is like a Hades and Persephone's retelling, but set in modern times. It is a 2012 release and it was fine. It was a three star read. It was a quick audiobook. It was very repetitive, pretty predictable super tropey, but like in good ways. So I actually really enjoyed it. The entire series is on Hoopla. So I do have the two remaining books in the series, Ever Bound and Ever True. Um, I am going to be unhauling the entire trilogy because while they're fine, they're not something that I feel like I'm ever going to reread. And I mean, 
they're kind of cool. Um, I'm not going to need these on my shelves. So these are going to go to somewhere else. Um, I'm unhauling a couple of different series actually because I did start the fourth book of Lux on audiobook and I'm pretty far through that one as well. But I'm going to get rid of the Lux series bind ups and I'm going to get rid of this bind up just because I have them on Hoopla. They're free. They're accessible to me at any time and I just don't love them enough to want to keep them on my shelves. They're not bad reads by any means, but I have new books that are coming in that I want to read that I need to make room for. So these that are just like mediocre, older backlist titles are going to go. They're perfectly fine for what they are, but they're not phenomenal. So I am going to continue with this series. I will finish it. Like it's the last of the month right now. So I got all of my hoopla credits to use um, for the end of the month before like they're up. So I did get the next two books of this series as well as book five of the Lux series. Um, and I got all those on Hoopla so that I can just listen to them coming up in May. Um, so I don't know. These are going to go three star read, perfectly fine, nothing wrong with it. So let's go over some of my stats for the month. I did not read a ton. I knew I probably wasn't going to. I read 12 books for a total of 4,472 pages. I had fantasy -a -thon where I read Queen of Air and Darkness, The Monster of El Elland Haven, The Steel Prince, The Devouring Grey, Middle Game, and Opal. So that was all for fantasy -a -thon. For my owls, I finished Finale, which was for Potions, which was next book in a series. I finished Check, Please, which was my Muggle Studies Contemporary, and The Last Unicorn, which was my Magical History, uh, because it was 10 years or older, and that completed my qualifications for my owls, my newts, my owls, to be a writer. So all of those were finished. Technically, Everneath also fell within that category and could count, because it didn't count for another readathon. Um, I finished a whole bunch of stuff. If I wanted to, I could attribute all the things I read for Fantasy-Thon also to my Owls and my Magical Readathon since it is a month long, and I would have finished everything that I needed to probably. Um, I'm sure I could make it all count for something, but I technically was going to be a writer, and the writer portion of that is over. I did succeed in that. So... All in all, not horrible. I didn't have a single five-star read this month. Um, looking at my spreadsheet, I went from fours to twos. So Queen of Air and Darkness was a four. Monster of Ellen Haven was a four. Steel Prince and Devouring Grey were three. Lost Coast was four. Middle Game was three. In Other Lands was four. Check Please was four. Finale was four. The Last Unicorn was two. And Everneath was three. I'm hoping in May to have some five-star reads. I usually have five-star reads. That's the first month that I had zero five-star reads. Um, check Please probably could have been a five. Like, I probably could have just done that, but um, there were parts of it that just kind of, I don't know. It wasn't a five for me, personally. I really, really enjoyed it. There's nothing wrong with a four. There's nothing wrong with a three. It was not a bad reading month. I'm just surprised I didn't have any five-star reads. Anyway, um, that is the end of my April vlog. I'm going to go start editing it because it, it's probably not going to be that long. Usually mine are, but this is pretty disjointed. So that's it for this month. Throw me a comment down below. Let me know what your favorite and least favorite read of the month were. I am interested. Join me next month for my reading vlog in May. If you like this one, be sure to give me a big thumbs up, click subscribe, and I will see all of you in my next video. Bye guys.